it's unusual, but sometimes we see things like that uh, and opportunities that arise, especially when the freeway narrows like that. Certainly going way too fast for a pit maneuver. We don't expect to see that uh, exercised in this uh, scenario, but uh, for a freeway pursuit like this, uh, the, game, the name of the game is using time. Time is on the side of law enforcement here. They really are in no rush with the exception of uh, just trying to bring this to an end and fill out the paperwork eventually. They're in no rush to agitate him and uh, they're in no rush to uh, you know, make this any more dangerous than it has to be. They certainly don't want the paperwork that they fill out to include an accident report or, or God forbid, an injury uh, report or a fatality. So you're right, they, uh, they have time on their side. They can wait this guy out essentially. Uh, wait till he runs out of gas or till he decides to give up their resources essentially unlimited you're talking about the uh, the highway patrol here they got vehicles uh, stretched up and down uh, this freeway and uh, they can bring resources to bear as needed again this is a stolen vehicle suspect here behind the wheel of this Ford F-150 pickup truck a pursuit that began in the San Fernando Valley and continues now going up the five freeway heading toward the grapevine uh, and uh, the thing about the aircraft that are following this, including ours, is that this is a mountainous area, Colleen, and it could uh, spell trouble in terms of continuing uh, with the pursuit from the air. Absolutely. This is a very mountainous area. We, we, uh, many of us know when we try to drive to Northern California, this is heavily traveled. And again, you can see we're going to start having a little bit of visibility problem just trying to uh, keep on uh, with that uh, pickup truck right there, as you saw. And again, Mark, you, you touched on it really well. Uh, the CHP has a limited amount of resources. They they jump on these these chases. They move in between. They rotate their uh, CHP officers to get involved in these uh, chases. But yeah, you, you this person has is under no illusion that he or she is being followed. Though there are so many um, law enforcement officers who are uh, tailing this. But again, it looks like they're not. This driver is actually minding the rules of the road for the most part and not putting a lot of uh, other drivers in jeopardy. All right, and it looks like he's, is he heading uphill right now? Is it, can you tell that? It seems like it's slowed down or is that just a, a, an optical illusion, Chris Christie? Well, it is a little bit of an optical illusion. It is going to look like he's slowing down, but it does look like he might be slowing down as well, uh, especially as the freeway narrows. They were getting where he might, they might in fact, might, be uh, preparing for a spike strip uh, attempt up ahead there. We might not see it, but that is a possibility from what we're hearing up here. It can confirm that CHP has officially taken it over. So the handover is complete. LAPD now backing out of the pursuit. California Highway Patrol taking it over, and it does look... If I'm not mistaken, it looks like the helicopter has backed off as well. In fact, I can confirm the helicopter has turned around. That's why you don't see that night sun anymore. But as we continue to highlight it, we can look off into the distance approximately 10 miles. We like to stay over the city lights in the northern edge of the Santa Clarita Valley, right over Castaic. And as we look up the five freeway, our extreme vision is capable of seeing well off into the distance. As I mentioned, about 10 miles off the nose up there. And that's about where the freeway begins to narrow. Now, there's a few more trucks up there. You see not a lot of cars, but plenty of trucks. Mm -hmm. And those trucks are on the right lane and the slow lanes. He is hugging that left lane. And it does look like they may have an opportunity. And if they have it, they'll use it to lay down a spike strip and try and flatten those tires. Uh, absolutely. It, it must seem quite dangerous, though, Chris. I know we've watched many, many pursuits um, taking place on um, from Air 7 HD, but when you have a F-150, it's a, it's a pretty big and heavy truck for the, the speeds that they're driving along this uh, area of the grapevine. It would seem, you know, obviously they do have a, a watch commander who's watching and uh, telling them what to do. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, it's going to depend. You're right. It's going to depend on the speed. If he's going too fast, it's not effective, and it's much more difficult. But if the road narrows and he slows down just enough, they can lay down that spike strip. And what it basically happens is the pins from the spike go into the tires, and it's more of a slow leak. It's not meant to cause a blowout. It's just meant to empty out the air of the tires nice and slowly. And so you just want one of those spikes to get it, to get lodged into the tire, and eventually, over the course of several minutes, that vehicle will be much, much harder to control, especially a Ford F-150 of that size. All right, Chris Christie live in Air 7 HD. We know the pursuit is kind of getting away from us now, given the mountainous terrain. We thank you. We will go back to it if uh, the conditions change.
Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.